Privatized space travel took a huge leap forward yesterday. Virgin Galactic revealed their new White Knight 2 carrier aircraft, which was christened EVE. Named after Sir Richard Branson's mother, EVE is the world's largest all-carbon composite aircraft with a 140-foot wingspan. White Knight 2 is one of two parts required to get private astronauts into low Earth orbit through Virgin Galactic's vision. The second part of the craft, named Spaceship 2, will sit in the middle section of the White Knight 2 and will be dropped from an altitude of around 50,000 feet. At that time, Spaceship 2's rocket will kick in, allowing it to launch into low Earth orbit. EVE is expected to undergo its first test flights in the fall of this year, with Spaceship 2 rolling out in 2009. Once testing is complete of both vehicles and it is approved for consumer use, Virgin Galactic should be able to ferry private astronauts, science packages, and payloads on their new spaceship. Each ship is designed to fly up to four times every 24 hours in both day and night. While EVE is the first of their White Knight 2 motherships, it's not the last. Virgin Galactic is planning on building a fleet of space-capable vehicles over the coming years, which will hopefully take the price of the $200,000 ticket down over time. Now, if you want to travel aboard a Virgin Galactic vehicle but can't afford the price, fear not. If you have 2 million Virgin Air frequent flyer miles, you can trade those in for a ticket aboard a Virgin Galactic flight. Or, if you're feeling lucky, you could try and win a free ticket by going to www.spaceambassadors.com and registering for the drawing. I know I did. Regardless, Virgin Galactic is taking spaceflight and making it possible for mere mortals. While $200,000 is a lot of money, keep in mind that they have driven the price down from the current $25 million per seat to $200,000, and I have no doubt they will continue to drive the price down over time. The vehicles are very real and being built, not just an idea on paper. I fully expect to start seeing regular Virgin Galactic flights by 2010, forever changing how humans look at space. In fact, this is such an important and monumental achievement, we're going to be covering Virgin Galactic for the next two daily shows, and I hope we'll see you back here at spacevidcast.com.